Thank you very much, Mr. Samaseko. And now our guest from Canada, from the International Social Science Council, Mathieu Denis. Herzlich willkommen. Herr Minister, Herr Bürgermeister, Herr Direktor, Professoren, sehr geehrte Gäste, Kollegen, meine Damen und Herren. Unser Präsident Alberto Martinelli kann heute leider nicht mit uns sein. Es ist aber für mich eine große Ehre, an diesem wichtigen Ereignis heute teilnehmen zu dürfen. The International Social Science Council is proud to associate itself with the International Council for Science and the International Council for Philosophy and Human Studies, and of course with the International Geographical Union to, in proclaiming the International Year of Global Understanding. This will be a year dedicated to understanding how global and local phenomena connect, impact, reinforce one another. A year to show what science can do and must do to ensure that we, as human societies, but also as a global species, develop solutions that will help solve the challenges that our actions have contributed to create. Now, contributing solutions, of course, is a bold program. And to a certain extent, it is a truism to say that we live in a world of complexity. We live in a world where climate and environmental change can no longer be disentangled from societal processes of economic crisis, of political discontent, of corruption, We no longer have the luxury of privileging priorities over others. We must act upon all of them at the same time. This, by the way, is the main message, the main reasoning, the vision behind the Sustainable Development Goals. Unfortunately, our knowledge and science systems are still too much confined within certain boundaries. Now, already in 1959, C.P. Snow had called our attention to this problem in his famous lecture, The Two Cultures. Despite the fact that Snow himself was both a physical uh, chemist and a novelist, he argued that there was a breakdown in communication between two cultures which characterize modern societies, the humanities and the sciences. What's more, he argued that this polarization was an obstacle to addressing key contemporary problems. Now, Snow himself was never able to decide whether the social sciences could become a bridge between the humanities and the sciences or whether they represented a third autonomous, if you will, culture in and of itself. But whether there are two or three or more cultures is irrelevant. What is relevant? is that organization like ours, the International Councils, the International Disciplinary Associations, is organizations who claim to represent the voice of science at the global level, are drawing the conclusions for their action of the complex interactions between the natural, social, and human cultural phenomena. The global community of scientists and scholars can only help the world get its act together by getting its own act together. And this is, I think, why the International Year of Global Understanding is so critically important, because it is bringing us all together. It is, to my knowledge, the first time that the three councils, the three international science councils, are working together on an event, on a global initiative of that amplitude, proclaiming an international year. And over the course of one year, ladies and gentlemen, in all parts of the world, IYGU will show how the social, natural, and human sciences are working together to help create a diversity of paths towards sustainability. It will also help creating connections between these initiatives so that we really add value to local initiatives. And hence, I would like to thank the International Geographical Union and the International Year team for organizing this launch event and, of course, for organizing all the, the many events that are forthcoming. And what better place than Jena, a city so intimately associated 
with some of the greatest achievements of the cultural enlightenment and modern scientific thinking to remind us all of the power of the imagination, the necessity to work across the boundaries of established knowledge and the richness of all embracing approaches to tackle the problems of the day. Thank you very much.